hello and welcome to episode five of Freddie's allotment journey. Now, um, got a few things to do this weekend. Um, I, this weekend I want to move all the, the boxes to the right beds because these were going to be in the right beds, but we've changed it all completely. <laughs> like every gardener do, they make a plan and then they change it. Um, I'm going to do the raised beds up at the top. I'm going to do them. And then I'm going to fill them halfway with potash and then halfway with horse manure, which we'll do next week. And uh, which we've got to go get the horse, rotted down horse manure, years and years of rotted downness. Um, what else have I got to say? I took the cucumbers and peppers. Home, I put them in the boiler room, which so when the boilers are on with the heating on, it warms the soil up. The soil is pretty warm. I gave them the water, so it's a bit cold. But I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the water in there with them, so it's all like the same temperature. So when I water them, it's not like a big shock until they've germinated. Pepper, peppers can take up to four or five weeks to germinate. Um, I'm going to make the raised beds. What I'm planning to do is the flooring. Sounds weird, right? Um, let me show you. So, up at the top of the plot, um, there's tons of these flooring boards. They're all dry because they're on under the cover, but these have been out because I've cut these up by hand. So it was a lot of work. It was a lot of sawing, and my um, arm and my back was hurting the next day but it was definitely worth it because I've got all the ends of them and um, I'm going to try and make all the raised beds today which sounds a bit weird because that's a lot of work right let me just show you something I've done off camera right so this is my watering system for this year 2023 I put the pump inside um, so that's the cord that powers it and then there's a hose that comes up to this so if I just um, I'm going to get a splitter off Amazon so it's going to be one way and then another way so this way is going to be just a hose to water the whole garden I'm going to have a small one that just goes down to the floor so if I just want to fill up a watering can because the tap it's broken I've snapped it off by accident <laughs> so we're going to have to get a splitter so and then I can just turn it off um, it's an anti thingy so there won't be water any coming back up um, and let me show you the back right here at the back we've got the cord um, so this cord is going to go in there but it's not big enough so I'm going to pop home get the right drill bit come back and I'm going to do it um, so it goes in there and then oh, this is the hose, I've got my gun on it. What I like about this one is that I can push it down, flip that little up and it stays down, so I can water. Ooh, can I put that down? Can I? Yep. And then I'll probably just leave it out on the ground, but if I do feel like I'll really back up onto this, which I probably won't, but I can. Um, let me show you the old ho hose reel. Right, so here at the old hose reel, it does swivel, it was amazing until it broke um, so I guess half of it of the hose is in there and then it literally just stops going really it up um, so I think we're going to take it to the tip we're going to see if, if we get it running again excellent I'll take it home and use it at home but I don't know just something about it it was the one at home and um, it was um, eventually we'll go get one down here and take this one back home but if we do get it working again we'll take it back home and use it right this is the bed here that i've done last week it's very flimsy but i don't mind that it's an allotment um with the first plot it's very good neat tidy square i don't want that with this plot i need to realize that it's not going to be perfect it won't ever be perfect so i'm just going to finish doing these screws because um the screws didn't actually go into the wood without pre-drilling them so i've got some better screws with me now and I'm just going to do this first bed and I'm going to pop home and get that drill bit. Right, 
so it is actually the wrong drill bit so i'm going to go home get the drill bit box drill bit bit box the bit box for the drill bits and um come back with the right one do it do the pose with the cord that goes through the shed and we're off to wilco to get the potatoes and onions Right, as you can see in the shed, we have it all wired up. We've got the wire up at um, a 19 millimeter, so I think I'll keep that in mind if we're going to do it again, which I don't think we will. Let me just show you and put it on. Oh, so that's where the hose goes through, that's where the cable comes out. And we should, it should be coming. There might be a kink or two. When I first done it, there was a kink. And that kink has made another kink, which has made another kink. Right, I'm going to put it down. I'm going to turn it off because it's going to damage it. See, yellow warning. Um, right, I'm going to fix it and I'll show you it. Right, basically it does work. <laughs> um, but um, later in the year I'll show you. Because it's just got all kinks and it's um, spiralled around. I've got it working. And then of course it stopped again. Right, so I also did drill another hole for it, the cord to come out because I was going to have it come out there and then come all the way around here. But we're not going to do that. These are overflow holes. I already had them on there. I guess this could always it could be one. Which these are now useless because these are higher than this. But it doesn't matter. Right, we are going to Wilco's. Right now, get, get a cup of tea, go to Wilco's. We are going to go pick the potatoes and onion sets. Um, also, with the raised beds, it's the wrong drill bit. I think it's the screws. <laughs> um, I'm going to get more screws, not better screws, and I'm going to come back down with a bit um, after Wilco's. So um, I'll show you when we're in Wilco's. But I'm very excited. All right, so it is installed, as I said, but we're going to Wilco's. Bye! Right, what I'm going to do now, I've just cleared that out, I'm going to put some flooring down. Um, I'm going to glue it into place. I've gave up on the raised beds, I'll try tomorrow. Of course, we had a quick stop at Mackey's at Wilco. <laughs> um, and I've got the radio. I'm going to get on with doing a bit of flooring. As you can see it's all done it is amazing it took me about two hours so it was a lot of cutting my hand definitely hurts it's a bit sore but it's everywhere that bit was really easy um the hardest bit was so that cutting along that let's see it's wonky and then um so i'll do that bit then i'd cut down to get that bit so i can do that bit and then i went too far so um but yeah see so i hammered it into place but i like it it's good and I'm going to put all this stuff back. Right, what I'm doing now, I am getting the potatoes out and I'm going to show you because we went Wilco, we got them. I'm going to show you what we got and we're going to start cheating them. Right, let's get them out. <laughs> I had to carry this down from all the way from the house down to the allotment, eight kilos. That's, that don't sound a lot, but it was a lot. Right, I've got these from Poundland as well. Nice um, dahlias, I think they, yeah, dahlias. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw they looked nice and I grabbed them for a quid. So, bargain. Onions. Oh, look. So, that one started growing already. I'm going to get them in early March. In trays. Not um, out in the ground. Red onions. And then I've got four earlies. That's all they had. Literally all they had was four earlies. Um, these are King Edwards. These are from Wilco, King Edwards. King Edwards. We've got... Marius 
Purr. Oh, second early of these are. Mary's Purr. I think we've got two bags of these, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the second bag. Let me just check. Yep. Yeah. We've got Charlotte Salad. I'm pretty sure it's just Charlotte or Charlotte. I don't know. Right, so that. I'm going to put these over here and I'm going to start chitting them. So, the way to chip potatoes, as you can see, the potatoes, they've got little bumps on them. That you've got to put upside, front, upside, and um, you've got to let the sun get to them. Some, you, can, you can chip them in the dark. Last year they got wet, my ones, so we did have to chip them in the dark. But that's all right. It still worked with amazing potatoes, and um, I'm gonna get on with it now. There we go. We can see they're all in there. In the big tray. I was gonna put them in like. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Them trays, but like I need them. Um, I was gonna you know get a potato and put one in each thing, but I need them trays. But that looks good. Them two are the same variety, so I put them together. And then these two are different. These are actually second early. Excellent. Um, but yeah, that's to go to the compost. And I'm going to head to the shed. Right, most of everyone that's been down the plot site today has gone home. So I think it's time for me to go home. I'll be back up tomorrow, as usual. Um, tomorrow we're building the raised beds. That's it. Very excited. Um, I just need the right screws. Um, at home, we've got tons of screws. We fine. We ain't gonna go buy some. Um, pop home, have a cup of tea. It's about four o'clock now, so it's getting dark. And I'll be back down tomorrow. Right, it's the next day. It's Sunday, and well, I've got a new tripod. I found it in the garage. I've got some screws. I'm planning to do all the raised beds today, but who knows? I don't know. <laughs> um, let me take you up to the second plot of what I done yesterday. Gave it a bit of a tidy yesterday, and I'll show you. Right, here we are. See, I gave it a bit of a tidy. I do a bit of weeding on the paths um, because I really want the wood chip on the paths that are really old to go in the bottom of the bed so I will borrow her bed and then of course I'll put new of the new wood chips down but I really uh, need to start thinking about filling them up so I'm gonna do a wheelbarrow of wood chips and then I'm gonna fill it up three quarters of pot potash then I'm gonna do the rest for rotting down horse manure right the next thing I'm, I'm gonna do actually is put the boxes in the right beds because these aren't the right beds um this one is i think yeah um and then i'm gonna do that weeding but let's do it
So this has obviously ripped. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it all around the edge, staple it down, um, because this ain't going to be fixed. We were going to build um, the hoop holes, the hoops that I've got for the lettuce there. Um, if we get round to doing that, we will, but it's just a waste because we didn't really need this. We think it ripped because a fox jumped in. Um, if that happens again, we might have to stop. Um, but you can just go and get a replacement of this. Which we, we you know, we, we can just go to a shop and get a replacement and just replace the top. Um, I was going to just uh, thread it back together, but that wouldn't be as strong. It wouldn't look as good. So I'm going to cut it off, which is a bit of a big deal. Right, I've done it. One thing I really like about it is when I wanted to harvest or weed it, all I literally have to pick the whole thing up and move it. But now I can just bend over and say, you know, weed, get the strawberries, and it's good. I don't think we're going to replace it. I really like it. Um, but again, if the foxes do start taking them, jumping in and jumping out again, I will put them, get some more netting over the top. But I think I really like it like this. Right, next job of the day. Right, what I'm going to do now is go and get wood for the raised beds. Got the tape measure, got my pencil to make sure they're long enough. I've worked out I need 23 foot sections of the wood. So I'm going to go get that now and I will join back with you. Right, I've cut all the length for one bed and it took me about five, 10 minutes with the handsaw, but I don't mind it, I've got all day. Um, I'm gonna put it together now and I'll um, show you when it's done. So I'm going to go out in five minutes. I'm just going to sit have a cup of tea with some biscuits. Then I'm going to go back outside. I've done four raised beds out of six. Um, it took me about an hour and a half to cut everything. It was, it was a lot. It, the back's kind of hurting from bending over, but that's all right. Um, and then the screws, literally just take, it literally takes five minutes to put them together. So it took about an hour and a half of hand cutting everything. Oh, it was a lot. Um, I'm not going to show you yet. I'm going to do a big surprise at the end. So, um, I'll be back with you once I've done everything. I'll do all six raised beds. And then um, we're going to build some troughs. Not today. Um, maybe next weekend. We'll see. We'll do them in the garage. Um, yes. But I'll sit and have a cup of tea i'm sat on the workbench because i've got no seat in the shed and the bench is wet outside um yeah i'm gonna sit have a cup of tea biscuits and then i'll get back to work right you can see it's really good <laughs> i'm exhausted absolutely exhausted it's like one o'clock now and i started at like 10. It took me hours oh can't with a machine it'd be so much easier but i didn't <laughs> Um, well, I'm going home now for a cheese and ham toasty and I'll be back with you. There we go, that's a lot what all the wood chip looks like, it looks amazing. Right, let's go down for a cup of tea. Wednesday of school because teachers on strike, so I'll be done then. Um, so I have my hot chocolate. I made a hot chocolate instead of a tea, just fancy one. And then I think I'm gonna go home, walk the dog, just get in my pajamas and chill for the rest of the night. Right, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment what your favourite bit of the video was. Bye.